and the participants of the conference. Um, I'm very proud and very glad that this event is happening right now here in USA. Um, you are going to listen to me tomorrow morning, so I'm not going to be long for this welcoming speech, but um, let me say a few words about which we are not going to talk tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> we had a short, um, a chance to, for a short discussion with um, Mr. Malek, um, who just arrived, and uh, first time in his life in USA. And um, we just concluded um, that Europe is more in a trouble than we think about it. And there's a dangerous moment. And in this moment, I think it's very important to exchange our views about the future. And to think about the future, the best way is to reinterpret our heritage. Um, I think that is a great asset. And I'm very thankful to the organizers to, to bring here um, like 150 people from more than 30 countries um, to do so during the next four days. I'm also very glad to welcome here um, Dr. Tibor Navracic, a former colleague and friend, who is the commissioner um, from Hungary in the European Union, um, and with whom I completely agree about the importance of maintaining our perspective about the future of Europe. It's very important to dig deep in our local, national, city, regional, whatever past, and to dig out our, the, the roots of our identities. This is what actually we are doing partly in our new institute, the Institute of Advanced Studies, Kursa. But the, the deeper we are digging, the more intercultural heritage we find. Especially here in Kursa, it's a borderland, so it's not so difficult. Um, but wherever you go, I think this is the case. So I think the very problematic notion of European identity depends on our capability um, of reinterpreting, permanently re uh, reinterpreting our past, our heritage. And to understand how much interwoven this heritage is, uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, but I wish you good luck for that for the next four days. I'm very much hoping that most of you are going to come back to Kursag. Um, Kursag is a par excellence um, central European city. It's an atypical Hungarian city. For <clears throat> more than 100 years, it was a, like a mortgage um, of the Habsburg Empire um, with the German administration. We have a very significant Croatian minority. The Jewry, Jews played a very important role, although their numbers was um, not very significant. Um, so it's a real Central European amalgam, a melange, so to speak. Um, we used to have um, a very interesting um, uh, event, and we are going to do so in the future. Um, James Joyce um, wrote his novel not so far from here in Tiesta, Ulysses, and the major character uh, of the novel is Leopold Bloom. At the end of this um, very difficult novel, it turns out that this, this Jewish family Bloom came from Sombathei, the next city 15 kilometers from here. So we have decided many, many years ago to open what we call Café Bloom. Um, for people like you who are coming from everywhere in the world um, to discuss identities, problems of your identities, problems of <coughs> Europe's future identities. And I'm very glad to tell you that thanks to the generous support of the Hungarian government and its understanding that um, Kursak is such a, a jewel, such a fantastic asset in terms of built heritage, that they um, agreed 
<coughs> to save this fantastic built heritage. And let us um, not just reconstruct these wonderful buildings that we will see, I hope, tomorrow, because we are hosting the conference, different um, uh, working uh, uh, rooms, but also to fill up, fill it up with new content. And this new content, I think, is going to drive us towards um, a new understanding of what heritage and identity is. We need new institutions. Europe failed to create a strong European identity. And as I mentioned in the press conference, um, that is a whole move, uh, supposed to, um, told by, by Jean Monnet, that if we could start again, we would start with culture. Nobody I know personally was able to show me where is it from. But it's a folklore, and it shows something, it reflects something, it reflects the lack of capability of these 500 million people to find a real common denominator and the self criticism of the so-called non-elected bureaucrats uh, to create something from above. So now, instead of just blaming them, we should start again to think it over how to use culture cultural and even more intercultural heritage to find the base hmm, um, for our common future. And I hope that will be a common future for you. Thank you very much and very welcome in person.